All right, today we're talking about the Easy Planter. This is a product that we have made to help people out. People like Dean, people like myself, people like you. What is it? It is a Easy Planter. Basically, it's a fake decoration. I was gonna say decor, but then went to ration. It has a hole in the bottom, and the hole in the bottom is very important. So what is this meant to do? This is meant to fit a potted aquarium plant. Easy Planter, right? We can put a plant in here, the roots can grow through the bottom of the plant into your substrate and remain attached. Now, there's gonna be some tricks I'm gonna talk about. Why would you want that? Maybe you have African cichlids, maybe you have goldfish, maybe you have a pleco that keeps moving your plants. Maybe you just bought a dwarf aquarium lily and it keeps floating away. There's a lot of options for this. We use them all the time in our tanks through development. We test them for a long time and we've really grown to love it because it's nice and weighted, it's heavy and it's got a nice flat bottom. So if, even if you don't run substrate, you can put this on glass and have yourself a nice plant that normally you just have a, you'd have a, a plant that flops around. So we're gonna make four of these today because that's what I have in front of me. We're gonna grab the first plant, Dwarf Sagittaria, right? So if we just put it in there, you can see it's got runners and stuff. Just like that, you let that sit in an aquarium and what happens, these runners bounce out of the pot and they go into your aquarium and now you've got a nice foothold that no cichlid can break loose and you hide the pot. Maybe you've got this lush carpet. All you gotta do is cut it. You could remove this and put in a different plant. But we wanna make sure we start with the best possible odds. So what I like to do is I actually like to use root tabs. And so I buy my plants, they come in, they're, mo they're half immersed, half submerged. That's what this is, right? So this plant, all of these Long leaves have been growing underwater. These short ones have been growing out of water. So we need to help it transition, or I like to. I like to make them grow as fast as they can at the beginning. So we get our root tabs here. And I put one or two of them in the pot. Now, how do I do that? I literally just grab it like this. Hopefully we can get that on camera. And I kind of hold back the leaves and I push it right next to the plant right down in the rock wool. So I'm gonna to try to show that off. The rock wool is the stuff the plant comes in. So I've put one in, and you could put another one in on the other side. Just like that. You would put that in, you set that in your aquarium, that one's done. Here we got a nice java fern. Now what's nice about the java fern is it's a rhizome plant, so as it grows, it's actually gonna grab onto this rock and you're gonna get this big old bushy uh, thing that you can move around your aquarium while you're decorating and it becomes like a, a new living piece of decor. I still like to give it, even though it's mostly grabs the stuff out of the water, maybe I hit this one with one root tab just for an extra little, little boost. You, you gotta make sure they go all the way in there otherwise you're just making a mess. It's being squirrely. I'm gonna do it the hard way. We'll show you the hard way here. Make a mess. Make sure you have an aquarium co-op towel so you don't get your table wet. Now all you gotta do is open the rock wool, drop it in, close it back up, put it back in there. There we go. That was easier on that one, but normally it's not difficult. Now we've got an Anubius Barteri maybe? I'm not sure which one Jimmy pulled for me. He says, yes, it's a Barteri. Of course it is, you fool. We grab another little root tab because they can get some of the nutrients from the roots as well. We kind of open it up, you push it in, just like that. And we'll grab an Anubius Nana Petite. Now again, the Anubius is gonna grow onto that as well. The great thing about these, they're only like $9.99, by the way. Now this one, it can be hard to get the root tab in there without damaging the plant, so you gotta be a little careful. Now most times, these plants are gonna come with some fertilizer in there already, a little bit, but we wanna extend that. Our root tabs have a little bit of dirt and other minerals in it to keep them going longer before they can get their tap roots into the substrate. If you don't run any substrate at all, bare bottom tanks, maybe you update with another uh, root tab once a month or so. But now, you can see how if you had these four and this aquarium co-op towel, hashtag more aquarium co-op towels, was your aquarium, you could put this smaller plant towards the front. Okay, we got like a bigger one here. We got this one right here. And we want this to carpet throughout the whole back, just like that. And then tomorrow you go, I don't like the way that looks at all. And instead of clouding up your aquarium and making a big mess, you go, actually, it needs to look like this right here. That's, that's the ticket. And so, yeah, I really love these planters. They're all the same, but 
depending on how you turn them, we've we had the people we've shown the test samples to, why don't you make a double? And I'm like, all right, look, it's a double. Like you, we could, but there's no reason. You can make triples, you can make islands, you can do whatever you want with this. You know, it's escape, right? So you've got this island over here, and you've got this lone plant over here. You can do this with crypts. You can basically do it with any plant. It's really good for Java ferns, Anubias, things that send runners like crypts, Valisneria, uh, Dwarf Sagittaria. It works okay when it comes to stem plants. Like I've got some Pogo stem and Slotus octopus. I've got some other stuff. It, they don't run, so they, you still have to trim them and cut, but they're a good base. If you really want to get something started with something that's digging, you know, maybe you got cichlids or whatever you got, that's the way to do it. And honestly, I've become a lazy scaper now and it's so good and it's really easy. If you got like eight of these in your aquarium, you can change up the look in a weekend just going, oh, look at this. Actually, I want all four together. Now you've got a whole island scape. You've got all, like, imagine white sand or whatever you got around here. You've got an island scape and then you can totally change it up next month. Doesn't matter. Super easy to manage. I love it. Hopefully you guys will too. Get yourself at least one in a plant, give it a try, and then order 10 more on the next order like people will. So, all right, guys, thank you very much. Hope you enjoy, and we'll see you next time.